Hi everyone, this is Yana Smakula for Simon Says Stamp. Welcome or welcome back to Yippee for Yana video. Today I'm going back to simple one layer stamping to create masculine birthday cards. One layer cards are super fun because they are easy to make and even easier to mail. I'm using just one stamp set, it is very affordable, called Perfect Birthday. When I first saw this stamp set, I couldn't help but smile and I thought, hey, for any cat person out there, this image would make the perfect focal point for a birthday card. Now, I love how the cat is a little bit chubby and that balloon string wrapped around him or her adds just the perfect touch. This cat also reminds me of one of my mom's cats. Her name is Simona and she's super chubby and lazy and full of character. Now I stamp this image onto Simon Says Stamp 130 pound cardstock. This is my favorite paper for stamping and coloring with Copic markers and that's what I was planning to do for these cards. Now also this paper is fantastic if you're making a one layer card because the marker does not bleed to the other side of the paper allowing you to make a truly one layer project. Now, I personally like to save this paper. I don't like to make card bases using it. So I just cut my paper to four and a quarter by five and a half inch panels. So panels that would make the front of my card. I stamp my image onto the panels. I do my coloring and then I just adhere that panel onto a regular A2 card. But you can use this paper to make a card base and do your stamping directly there. And your ink is not going to bleed to the other side. I used my Mini Misty stamping tool and Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp these kitties. Now you might notice that I have a wrist brace. I have some pain in my left wrist. I'm left handed. So I've been wearing the brace for the past couple of weeks. Surprisingly, the brace makes for a perfect gliding surface to glide over the misty door and apply even pressure for perfect stamping. So that's a bonus for sure. Now, I also wanted to mention that my video camera broke and I am now using my photo camera, which as you can see is not as good. So the image might be a little bit blurry and the video quality overall is worse compared to my previous videos, but I have already ordered a new camera and it is on my way from the United States. So hopefully I can go back to better quality videos soon. I don't know how soon it's going to get here, hopefully soon, but Again, we, I just have to be patient. Now, I wanted to do simplistic coloring here. I am by no means an expert when it comes to Copic markers or any coloring medium. I just like to make cards and I sometimes like to do coloring. So my coloring is very simple, but my coloring is also easy to replicate. And when I color, I try to keep it that way so that you can, can copy it and apply it to your cards. So you have my permission to go ahead and copy this coloring completely. Now I first added a shadow to help ground my kitty. And for that, I used warm gray colors starting with W5, the darkest W3, medium, and W1, the lightest gray. Now, instead of grays, if you're not into that, you can use other colors. Maybe you can use green to mimic grass, or say you can use yellow or pink or purple to have the cat sitting on a rug. So you can be really creative. Even though the ground or the object the cat is sitting on isn't stamped, we can definitely create the illusion of that object by simply using our coloring mediums. As for the cat, I did not want to color her completely. I just wanted to add spots of color and I also didn't do any blending. Now, take a typical multicolor cat. You don't see gradual color transitions. You see spots of color. So my cats are all white with either brown, yellow, or gray spots all over their bodies. For the browns, I used E31, E33, and E37. The image of the cat has some detail added. So you already have that on your stamped image. And that's telling you where you can add the spots to do your coloring. Now you can follow that stamped detail and you can also add in your own detail. Don't be afraid to do that. That's what I did for my cat. There's that balloon string wrapped around the cat. It is so adorable. And to emphasize it, I used a light gray W1 marker to add subtle shading under that string. Now I also used that same marker to add barely visible shadows behind the paws. 
Next, the party hat and the balloon were colored using muted green colors. I used YG93 and YG95 for the hat, and then YG00 and YG93 for the balloon. Now, the YG00 and YG93 do not blend together at all, and you can see these two colors just don't work together, but I managed to do the blending by adding a touch of the YG93 to the YG00 marker. I did that by kissing the tips of the two markers. You want the darker marker at the top here so that the darker ink goes into the lighter ink marker. The gravity is pulling it in and it basically sucks it into the lighter ink marker. That temporarily changes the color of the lighter marker, allowing you to have a better blend. So the blend isn't perfect, but I kind of like that splotchy, blotchy coloring, and it goes with the rest of the coloring style that I have on this card. Now I stamped some confetti, or what do you call these things? I'm, I don't remember what these are called. Let me know in the comments below. Anyhow, I stamped a few of those, and then I used the same green colors to color them, and I love the result. It just added a little bit of movement around the kitty. Now, I thought I would show you other color coloring options or coloring variations when it comes to coloring this cat. I used E51, Y35, and YR14 to color the cat orange. Now, this is also inspired by my mom's cat. She has two cats. One is orange, or I guess you would say peach, colored like this, and he is super sweet, and he just purrs all the time. My husband and I used to have two cats. They were black, completely black, and I loved them dearly. But they passed several years ago, and we didn't have the heart to get any other animals. So I now just go over to my mom's to get some quality cat time. So here's another coloring idea. This time I started with the gray markers, the W1, W3, and W5. And I wanted at first to create a white cat with a gray spots, but then I decided why not add spots of peach and brown, and that reminded me of a friend of a cat that my friend has. And once I added those other color spots, the cat turned out absolutely adorable. So you have lots of different options as to how you can color the cat. You don't have to color the cat completely. You can keep him or her white and add just different spots of color here and there to mimic the cat that you own, or even color the cat to look like the cat of your friend. If perhaps if, you, if you're making a card for a specific friend and that friend has a cat, why not color your image like that cat? I adhered my color panels to A2 card bases, and that created my super simple one-layer birthday cards. I don't have any other embellishments, like there's no sequence, nothing dimensional going on here. It is a nice, flat card. You can pop it in the mail, pop it into an envelope, address it, and mail it to your cat person friend, and wish them a perfect birthday. I hope you found this video useful, and I hope you're going to give this idea a try. If you do make a card inspired by this video, you guys know the drill. We'd love it if you shared your project online and tagged us on social media. We always enjoy seeing what you make. Thanks so much for joining me today. Love you guys, and I'll see you next time.